Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? I want to go ahead and immediately apologize that the videos are going to be up a little bit later th than normal today because it is patch day, which means Atlas is out and Bastet is out, which means obviously we're doing a Bastet mirror match right now, clearly. Um, fun fact, I have been playing Smite, and a lot of people know this if, if you know me. Oh, let me pause because it's going to take a second to talk about. I have been playing Smite at 3,200 DPI on my mouse at 27 in-game sensitivity for eight to nine years, however long I've played Smite, right? Which is an insanely high sensitivity and it's actually idiotic to play at, but it's just how I learned how to play at PC games. So that's why I did it for so long. Um, I decided today in order to get better at the game and not only Smite, it will help me in Smite, but every game, uh, I'm going to lower my DPI to 800, which means I'm cutting my DPI literally into a quarter of what it was. 800 times 4 is 3,200. So <laughs> literally cutting my, uh, my sensitivity into a quarter of what it was. And I, like I said, I've been playing Smite at 3,200 DPI for, for nine years. So it's, it's going to take a lot of getting used to. And I want you guys to understand if my gameplay is subpar or slightly bad just in general you know why it's just because i i'm learning i'm learning and it's going to be a difficult time but together anything is possible right okay holy shit 360s are so slow <laughs> I was just trying to 360, but it's like my normal 360 is like this far, like this distance is how much I would have to move my mouse before to 360. Oh my gosh, dude. Minions have spawned. Huh. Whatever. It's going to be weird. It's going to be a weird thing to get used to. <laughs> All right, let's play Let's play a little bit of Smite, shall we? What's your build? Meditation, Chalice, Bluestone. Pretty normal build. Um, do you have your jump? Okay, you do have your jump, but you were acting like you didn't in order to fake me out. A respectable game plan. You also have an HP Chalice. I am going to try to get this, by the way. I'm not... Well, I hate that. Oh, you are so deceased. Oh, or or not. Or not. Or not. You use med. I'll use med too. Fine. I actually might be able to kill him. Because my cooldowns come up faster than his, right? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh. Dead? Uh, he's not dead. He's not dead. That's okay. I did miss the three, but that's fine. I wonder if he's going to jump over. Try something on me. Wait, his two hit me? I thought I jumped his two, bro. I could have sworn I jumped his two. I could have sworn. Darn. All right. That's not good. That's not good. Is my... Yeah, they're all on instant. Except for my alt, which is on quick. Which is okay, because it's a new alt, and I need to learn it, so... That's fine. Dude, 800 DPI is so slow. It, it's crazy. Like, for me... I know most people are like, I don't know how you could play on anything higher than 800. But for me, it's like, how could you play on anything lower than 3000? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I'm dead? Hello? At least I died he actually hit the alt over the wall. Alright, this guy's insane, by the way. I don't know who he is, but he's literally hit absolutely everything. One second, I'm putting on the MMR. Um, one thing you will notice, I have the game in full screen mode because it makes DPI better. Um... So when I tab out, the game will freeze. So I apologize about that. 
But if I go into borderless window, which is what you have to go into for the game not to freeze when you tab out. 800 DPI is even slower than you imagined. So... Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can, though. Let me, let me put it on borderless window. Um... Turn the MMR thing off. Actually, it feels the same game. So maybe... Never mind. I thought it was slower just in general, but it doesn't seem like it. What's your build? Finish Transcendence? Okay, you're gonna mess me up. Alright. Um... I mean, I am poking him out, actually. Oh, I got a lot of damage on him there. He might ult me, though. Your middle tower is under I think he wants to ult me. Mm. Use my med. How low are you? Okay, he did want to ult me. Not going to happen today. Um, I am okay with that trade. Because I still have my ult up. So I think it's actually an okay trade for me. Let's go! I actually hit it. Peace out, dork. I actually hit the Bastet ult. First time for everything, baby. I, I don't have Transcendence, but I did win that fight. I'm thinking, what if I even shouldn't go Transcendence yet? And I should just go full Jotuns to see if I can snowball off of that one fight. But then again, I, I thought for like another 7 milliseconds and realized that's actually dumb as shit. I don't know why I said that out loud for everyone to judge me. So now, I'm just going to go ahead and go Transcendence and Breastplate. I'm assuming he's going Breastplate as well. He could go Jotuns. Oh, he's going Breastplate. I'm actually ahead of him in terms of gold because he got Chalice and I have not been buying HP pots. Big damage. But it's so slow, man. I doubt people play like this. <laughs> um, anyways. Oops. You know what? One thing I've noticed really, really badly uh, with changing the DPI, other than in-game sensitivity, which I'm sure I'll get used to over time, is when you're not in a game, it feels so slow. You're, like your normal desktop sensitivity feels omega slow. I missed that. Um, he has alt. I also have alt. I I don't know who's scared of who more. Right? I feel like he should be more scared of me because I have my med coming up sooner. All right. So he just both altered there. Nothing actually came of it. Who does more damage? I actually do a lot more. I have red buff. I forgot about that. Well, I didn't forget that I had red buff, but I... Uh, he does have blue buff, though, so he's cooldowns faster than me. Uh, okay, so he wants to kill me dead. I'm no idiot. I understand this. However, I will have my breastplate online, and I am just going to back now so that hopefully he understands that I want no piece of it. We're still both level 11, which is good because I was afraid that I was going to get behind an XP. Because I was backing so often earlier. But we're actually kind of chilling. Is this up? Or oh, it will be.
Red buff spawns very shortly. I do have my finished breastplate. He does have finished transcendence though, like, like fully stacked. I mean, okay. Definitely wins that fight. Oh, good juke. Right. These fights are so weird because you never actually know who's winning them. You know what I mean? Like. Uh, I'm dead as shit here. Yeah, him him finishing transcendence means he gets an extra 10% cooldown that I don't get. Which basically means uh rip me. Uh relic wise, I'm actually not sure. Like I said I haven't fought New Bastet. He's been banned for like a month and a half, I feel like, so. So I haven't fought the new Bastet at all. So I don't know what like What's really good against her ult? You want to beads it so you don't get captured? You just want to thorns and fight when she all ends you? I really don't know. That's not good at all. Hmm. It actually was a surprisingly even fight, even though he has uh, an extra tier two over me. So that's good. I think I do want to just go thorns here, probably. Also, I'm going beat stick because of meditation. I'm not sure if that's the right play. I wonder if maybe... I wonder if maybe just going Yo... No, Jotun's is idiotic. Why the fuck would I say that out loud? Maybe Crusher, though. Crusher's a lot of damage, man. Crusher is a lot of damage. Finish his beat stick. Getting red buff. Did get beads, huh? Alright, he went beat stick. I'm gonna go crusher here because I feel like I need to do something different if I want to have a chance to win this game. Um Does Beat Stick give you more damage than Crusher? Because he's actually doing more damage to me. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, baby. Okay. Took a lot of different finessing and a lot of different fights, but we actually got a kill. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go for the tower here because I'm behind in gold and I'm slightly behind in XP. So I want to make that up with XP camps and getting the waves and the buffs and stuff. Pretty sure red buff is down. And I think I am going to go beat stick now. Because if I don't go beat stick, then he has the opportunity to go soul leader. And if he goes soul leader, I'm big fucking sad. Are you? Okay. Am I dead? Close. Mm. Okay, that sucked. I'll just be straight up honest. That sucked. That was not fun. That felt bad. I did a bad. And also, I am bad. That was red up. Did he actually get it? No, but it's coming up. And I'm the one that's in position for it. Because I just got my power spike. That's so nice. be a hyper annoying game isn't it well i got the xp camp i am gonna do my blue here i kind of want to go soul eater but i don't know that beat stick is saying never mind um You going serrated? Wonder if he is going serrated. There's no way he's going stone cutting. Right? We almost never auto attack each other, so. Alright, he missed his ult. It's very easy to miss ult as fast as that stuff. Dude, these fights are so odd. Okay. Mm. I think I want to fight this. Very, very nice fight, dude. Let's go. The serrated edge is a bit of a weird play. It does give you quite a bit of power. Does this do damage to minions? What does? Would have thought. It does give you quite a bit of power. But, uh... I mean, you're never going to utilize that lifesteal, right? You're never going to utilize that lifesteal, but it does give you like 65 power pretty much because your your abilities are always on cooldown as fast that. I understand it, but 
I still don't like it. Like, even though I understand it, I, I just don't... I don't think it's the best play. I think you're better off just going, like, um... Like a void shield or something, you know? Something slightly tanky, but also has a little bit of pen associated with it. Because this has 20% pen, but void shield, when it's completed, has 15%. So, like, pretty good. I missed. Oh, well, it doesn't go that far. I don't know why I thought it did. I actually did 240 damage that fast. It's crazy, man, how much you just spam abilities when you're Bastet. Uh-oh. Okay. At least he didn't hit me with the three. If he hit me with the three, that would have been really bad. Uh, He has alt here, but... Chances are he doesn't use it. He's very low. Just jump away. Yeah. He wants to alt me under under Yeah, that. But obviously I'm not gonna let him. Holy shit. My two? How much did my two just do to Titan? With blue stone? Did almost 900 damage. Hello? All right, there we go. I'm loving this build. This build feels really strong. And I'm doing a lot of damage, actually. It's nice, though, because I'm, you know, I fought another Bastet who's 27, 2800 MMR. I forgot, but um, I got behind early game and I was actually still able to, to, to bring it back. I chose Crusher instead of Beat Stick in order to kind of switch it up to give me a slight advantage. Um over you know what's actually happening here so that was nice man that was nice a slight advantage over the fight like obviously he has beat stick so my med's gonna be worse but i have crushes so my damage is gonna be better so that was kind of my my thinking about it but it ended up being a really good game i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe uh subscribe make sure to tell me what i did wrong with my bass step build i think it's a pretty generic like just strong bass step build i think this rated is really bad but um i could be wrong maybe it's a meta who knows but I, I really like this Bastet build. Obviously, that's going to be a Void Shield. Uh, but I know there's a lot of people that play Bastet that have like 45 stars on her. So make sure you tell me what you think the best Bastet build is. And um, if you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.